hi so i am back um today's video we're gonna be talking about sex my favorite topic especially since the holiday season's coming so i'm sure a lot of y'all are about to get it in all right so let's get started so okay so we're gonna be talking about well okay i'm gay but like called a dick appointment but I'm just gonna coin the term clit appointment because it's gay so yeah first off when it comes to you having sex I recommend if your partner doesn't get checked or like tested for things or physicals on a regular basis I recommend you ask them to get tested and you get tested yourself it's always good to get tested before you sleep with a new partner. And of course, after you sleep with said partner. That's just always a good rule of thumb to follow, before and after. If you, if you don't have the means to get tested, it's always good to have protection. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about two types of protection in this video. So of course, we're gonna be talking about condoms. Um, that is, your most effective form of protection aside from abstaining from sex altogether. Tip number three, if you're going to somebody else's house, it's always good to, even if you're not sleeping with them, even if it's just a friend, your best friend, homegirl, family, always have a means to get home. I seriously cannot stress this enough because even your best friend, you and them could have a falling out and then they're the one who took you to their house and now you have no money, therefore you have no way to get home or get anywhere or to somebody else's house. You have no means of getting anywhere. Sorry, these are coming out today. I just want them to look half decent for this video. It's always good to have a means of either transportation or money that can pay for said transportation uber lyft the bus it's just always good and also number four know your know where you're going like know your surroundings if this is your first time going over to somebody's place it doesn't hurt to actually look up the address go on google maps see what stores are around just in case as i said if something goes down not to sound like a pessimist, I'm just being realistic. People have falling outs all the time, even if they are family. Or you could just be, just get a vibe that this is not where I need to be, and then you can dip out. Now, let's talk about the actual sexy, sexy stuff. I made a video, um, it's my most viewed video. It was me trying on like, it's like my Fenty inspired fashion show sort of thing. If you are sleeping with someone, the most important thing is for you to be comfortable and feel attracted to yourself. Like you should look in the mirror and be like, I would hit that. I would, I am. Like you should, Elijah said no. You should want to go in, not should, go into your sexual experience and sexual activity feeling sexy for you. Feeling sexy for them viewing you as sexy is just a bonus. If you feel sexy in like lingerie or whatever, by all means. Mm, let me back up a little bit. So when it comes to lingerie, I personally, I don't think you should just wear that for anybody, you know? Like, if you are just going and smashing Stacy Sue from the Safeway down the block this one time, like, do I think that, I don't know, I kind of view lingerie as something like, okay, like, you are worthy of seeing all this dressed up. Like, I don't know. That sounds kind of corny, but I'm a corny individual, so that's fine. But yeah, if you are just going and smashing homegirl down the block just this once, like you don't take her seriously at all, then why even waste time dressing up? 
just show up in your sweats or whatever. But again, if lingerie makes you feel sexy and attractive, you are having sex for you. And pleasing them is a bonus. I mean, it's always good to want to please your partner, but essentially there is a sort there is a certain selfishness that you need to have when it comes to having sex. Because you don't just want to be pleasing them and then they're all pleased up and then you're just laying there like Yeah, don't nobody got time for that. I've been there. That's annoying. Number six, I think. Six? With condoms, I would say bring your own. Yeah, like you can't just rely on somebody else to be the prepared one or just even if you're sleeping with a guy. I'm gonna be talking about both guys and girls since it's like clit appointment, dick appointment, sex appointment, so whatever if you're sleeping with a guy you can't just rely on him to bring the condoms you can't because you can't if you're sleeping with them for the first time i recommend you use protection even if you did go and get tested and especially if you're not on any sort of birth control like iud pill patch if you're on none of that girl the last thing you want to do is smash freaking i don't know Joshua from freaking Church's Chicken or Joshua from the dang library up on Capitol Hill and then boop baby Joshua because don't nobody got time for baby Joshua after round one like no so bring condoms let me just pause this whole thing if you're going over to somebody else's house to have sex, bring your own protection, bring your own money, know your surroundings. Boom. Also, it's always good to have carry-on stuff. If you see like brown, it's because my eyebrow pencil, the cap came off, so then it kind of like, yeah, you can kind of see it. It kind of like, whatever, got all up in there. But I would recommend putting a soap in here, body wash, whichever you use um a lotion if you can fit some lube up in there there is nothing let me say this there is nothing wrong with using lube imagine if you didn't have the lube and then this fool did not brush their teeth and they decide to use their spit yeah the human mouth this is just a proven fact the human mouth is the most, or one of the most, disgusting and bacteria-filled things on the planet. Sometimes it's even worse than public toilets. So just keep that in mind before you let somebody spit down there, like, yeah, and they mouth ain't clean. And I would recommend keeping your money not in there because it's clear. And if, especially if you don't know this person, even if you do know them, keep your money somewhere where you know where it is. Oh, speaking of condoms, just because I'm gay doesn't mean I don't use condoms. I am just, maybe I'm just stuck up or something. Please excuse my son. Also, if you have kids, baby, have that melatonin on speed dial. <laughs> Ooh, or if melatonin, I know melatonin sometimes kids are like immune to it or they just built up a tolerance for it give your kid like a full belly a bath and a massage yes massage your kids to relax them anyway backtracking i am just one of those people who if you use a toy on somebody else i'm either not gonna use it you're not gonna use it on me or you can use it on me there's just gonna be protection on it. Wanna see my shirt? You can't see it, that's fine. Oh, so I saw this in a video uh, a few months ago and it was so funny. I'm going to, if I can find the video, I'm going to link it below. But what she said was so perfect. But if you need to wash up, 
Do not, and you're at somebody else's house, do not use their hand soap to wash up. Because when they're down there, they're going to know that you went and used their hand soap to wash your pooty tang or your booty tang or whatever. Don't do it. Use the bathroom before you have sex, I would say. If you are getting picked up to go somewhere, thoroughly use the bathroom, like number one, number two, and then wash. Even if you need to jump in the shower again, wash thoroughly. These are the final two. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to be talking about two types of protection. Of course, I talked about sexual protection. Now I'm gonna talk about the other protection. When you're going over to someone's house or you're even at your own house, it is always best to have a form of protection, i.e. pepper spray, a taser. If you are like a trained fighter or whatever, and you don't want to bring those things, that's cool. But also along with that, know your exits. Just because you never know, you just never know. Like, I, it's very hard nowadays, even back in the day, it's very hard to trust people because people who you think you can trust or who are your best friend can literally shit on you and leave you looking like, what the, like, so, in order to protect your safety. But if something goes down where it's like, okay, it's getting too rough, I already told you to stop and chill out and you're not, therefore I need to defend myself, you have the means to do so. Along with that, also tell somebody where you're going. And my very final, absolute final thing, because I've been rambling at this point, my final thing when it comes to sex. Aside from having fun, because it is supposed to be fun, and you're supposed to be having a good time. I would say that when it comes to sex, it's always good to talk about it first. But it is always a no until both of you or all of you say yes. If you have to feel pressure to say yes, baby, nah, that ain't gonna work. It's a no. Get on up out of there. Especially if you're the one who like initiated it, you still need to say yes. Therefore, when you're, before you have sex, let's say you're kissing, it's just good to just check in. Just feel, like, are you sure you wanna do this? If they say yes, and they're adamant about yes, there's not like a, yeah. Like, if it's, if there's hesitation, just take it as a no. Just take it as a no. But if they're like, yes, come on, like, let's let's do this. Like, okay. But it's always good to check in with the person that you're sleeping with, even if you're only doing like a one night thing. It's just good. Ultimately have fun, exercise consent, research um, the area that you're gonna be in, bring your stuff, bring yourself, bring your money, and get it cracking. Be safe. And that's it. Be safe in all spectrums. All right. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.